What's up? Today, taking a look at these new Zing 2 motors from iFlight. Gonna put them through its paces. Um, spoiler, I do have some early opinions on these because I've had some experience with these for the past couple of days. Um, I have a couple of packs in them already, but uh, I'm gonna put them through its durability paces today. Um, I'll give you my final thoughts at the end of the video. <laughs> right there. Fuck yeah. Checked all the motors. Took a good hit on the motors. Huh. It unplugged itself, bro. Bro, the motors are still fine after that hard ass hit. Come on, bro. Come on. Oh, that was a pretty good hit. Oh, GoPro is still recording. GoPro is not even broken. That was crazy. Ed Edwin knocked me out of the fucking air. That's the first time ever on DJI that I've ever been knocked out of the air. All right, so probably you're curious as to the title of this video. So it's true, these motors did in fact destroy one of my quads, but also they are the most durable motors that I have used to date. These are the 2306 1750 KV Zing 2s, and honestly, I didn't have a lot of high expectations for these motors after I had the issue with that flight controller. Now to be fair, I did have 12 motors ordered. So I had four motors for each of my builds. I have three builds. Um, so two out of the three were perfectly fine on that last one. Matter of fact, it was the one that Paul crashed 
I had this problem with. So the problem I'm referring to is this video right here. So check this out. If I connect the battery, I have all the my wires motored, all, all the motors wired. Hear it? Oh shit, it scared me. So all the mo motors are, are functioning now. Watch this. I'm going to simply just take this, put a screw in this hole. When I put the screw in this hole, for some reason, this motor is no longer engaged and it's shorting. Makes no sense. All right. Screws in the hole. Now watch this motor. Listen. There should be tension. There's no tension. All right, so if you watched that little clip all the way through, basically what was happening was when I was getting to that back bolt, for some reason it was completing a circuit in this short in the motor, and essentially it was causing the motor to just blank out. Not only that, there was voltage running through the flight controller that basically shorted out two flight controllers. So I have no telemetry on either one of these uh, flight controllers. They're KISS flight controllers, so they're out of stock everywhere, and yeah, I'm basically not going to be able to replace those, which sort of sucks. So I am going to try a Flyduino KISS uh, flight controller, the V2, see if that's any better. Hopefully it works out okay. Everybody says it should just be like the Fat Tech one, so we'll give that a go. So at least I have three quads in rotation because I break a lot of shit. But um, all in all, I think these motors did great. I took a lot of hard hits. I had one time where somebody plugged in, this is the first time this has ever happened to me too, plugged in on analog and actually knocked out my video feed, which I didn't think that was possible, but it happened to me. And I was like 30, 40 feet in the air, hit the roof, bounced off the roof, and then we had to hop a fence to try to find it. But we found the quad, so that's the biggest thing. So no damage to the quad. No damage to the motors. The motors look to be pretty good. And overall, I'm impressed. So if you're curious about the quality of the Zing 2s, they are top-notch A-OK. -okay. All right, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the flights. As always, stay original.